tour, this is an experiment for us. We, it was my idea to use them uh, to try to reduce bass rumble around the drum kit, around the riser, which they do very, very well. And uh, we use large diameter ones, these ones and these ones, they're big diameter, so they, 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 they go down to about 60 hertz. And they literally suck up all of the low end rumble. And uh, we had, a pro Roger had a problem that where he stands right in front of the drums, although you can screen the drums off with perspex, what you can't do is lose the rumble from the bass drum. And it, and it was uh, disturbing him and Zach's got double bass drum, so it was a big rumbling noise. And, and these traps were an idea that we had and the company delivered them in the nick of time. We ordered them literally only like two weeks before we came on tour and they managed to drum them up for us, if you don't mind the pun. And because um, they are like drums, that's how they work. They've got, they've got uh, diffusers inside them that hang and if they're the right length, they deal with certain frequencies. They've been great on tour, but uh, gone further and used them also to create uh, traps around guitar amplifiers. My guitar sound was, needs the speakers to be developing sound as well as the amps. In other words, the speakers need to distort a little bit. And of course it was too loud because the sound on stage with Quadrophenia is very quiet and almost orchestral. Uh, it's no more than maybe 90, 92, a maximum of 96 dB, apart from maybe up by the drum kit. So I needed to damp it down and I had the idea to try a few tube traps around the kit, around the amplifier rig. And it's just been great. It's enabled me to turn my amps up really loud certainly as loud as they were on the 2006-2007 tours when we were playing heavy rock shows and yet they don't sound loud so you know I can I can work at what is fairly low levels and also we've used some over the other side of the stage to break up the dispersion from Simon Townsend my brother's amplifier he covers me on guitar over the other side so I can exclude him it really is just using them like separation screens but they do do more than that because they they take up the low end, you, they've got deflectors built into them as well, so you can set them up to reflect the sound where exactly where you want it to be on the stage. They're really useful on stage for that kind of thing. The tube traps had a very awkward room. The guys at ASC will remember this well. It was a triangle, worst possible shape you can have for a room, and they sold me 40 traps, and I put them in, and lo and behold, it fixed it. And uh, when I took that room apart, I inherited all these half traps. They were this kind of round size but cut in half and uh, and I use them all the time in different circumstances if I do a lash up you know I've got a recording studio on my sailing boat I take a keyboard and you know it's a very strange shaped room and I stick a couple of traps up here there and everywhere and I can make almost any space sound like a studio you know you can make a, a, a you know you can make a a, 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 a an old garage sound like a studio if you want to using tube traps and when you're finished you can take them out and move them and use them for other things.